myself a folder and I've put all my sound files in that folder plus the little mp3 player you can see it the second one from the left and then I'm going to open up my hot potatoes and save my quiz in that exact same folder so set yourself up to start with new folder all the files here's my um, quiz and I'm going to save it in that same folder I've called it nz underscore bird underscore calls so quite important not to have any spaces there give the quiz a title now I'm going to go to the word document and I'm going to paste the code required for that sound to play so I copy that and I paste it in here and all I have to look for is this little thing here which says your audio file and I'm going to replace it with the name so there's Bellbird, Kaka and the other two I'll call this Bellbird right so it's going to play the Bellbird sound I'll make Bellbird the answer for this one so I type it in and indicate that's correct I put in the others Now instead of having to retype the whole thing, I'm just checking that it's correct. I'm going to clone that question. So I go under Manage Questions Clone and then I go OK and here you can see I've got question 2. So all I have to do now is change Bellbird to another one. So I've changed it to Kaka. Change the answer. Manage Questions, Clone Question. And I carry on doing this until I'm finished. So I'm going to change this one to Kiwi, indicate Kiwi is correct, clone the question, right now I'm ready to configure the output, so I click on the little icon, check that I've got those settings that I want, go to the instructions, maybe add a bit more here, I could add the instructions obviously to the question but I'm just going to do it here save it and I'll export it export it in the same place very important to put it in the same folder view it and let's see how it turns out